Hey guys, and welcome to this quick video about your best export settings for YouTube. So I'm just gonna run through really quickly what it is. There's a slow internet connection here in Australia. So if you have a slow internet connection, you'll understand. Um, and so we're just gonna run through it real quick. Here we go. So once you've completed your video, you just simply wanna mark an end point. And by doing that, just go to the end of your video and I press O and then I just drag this to the end there and then I press the home key and press I, that's just the shortcuts, or you can just drag the playhead all the way back to the start and press I to set the in point. And then from there, you can either go to file, export, media, or then you, you could also use control M and we are then ready to export. So basically from here, so make sure you set that to H.264. Then in this preset, I just go straight to YouTube HD and just click that one. And then basically it does it pretty much all for you. And all I have a look at is, I just set this to um, VBR two pass. If you set it to one pass, it's a faster export. CBR means that it takes a longer time than one pass um, and it's better quality, uh, but it's not as good as VBR two pass. From my understanding, VBR two pass means that it runs through it once and then takes a sec and then runs through it again. So VBR two pass is the preferred setting for me. Um, 16, 16 is just what uh, Premiere Pro recommends and I find it is quite good. So one extra thing I really want to teach you about is the target bit rate. So basically if you want to upload a really, really big file, like a three hour conference, it's going to take you forever to upload. But by understanding target bit rate, um, you can then lower the quality, um, but still have a you know decent enough quality for viewing uh, and this will make it the uploading really, really uh, much faster than it would be originally. So this is helpful to learn. So target bit right here, we can see that it's around 460 megabytes, but if you drop this down to say, say for my conferences, I upload around a bit rate of sometimes three, depending on what the output is and how, you know, how, if it's just for internal use or something like that. Um, and then I just set the maximum bit rate just above that just to keep the file size down. So you can see what a big difference that is, but then you've got to check the quality, you know, find out whether it's going to be all good. And basically for conferences where there's not much going on, then you can get away with a lower bit rate. But for like highlight videos where there's lots of action um, and if there's not a very high bit rate, then you're going to see a lot of blocking and messy stuff. So you just want to output the file, have a play, do a little test, a little sample, and that should help your uh, videos be more efficient with your delivering of videos. And then maximum render quality if you want, if you want it, it'll take a little bit longer, but it'll give you that little bit extra quality. So basically from here, you can choose to export, but if you choose export, then it's gonna be using Premiere and you can't use Premiere to do anything else. So that's when I click Q and that'll open up Adobe Media Encoder and then that'll allow you to do other stuff in the meantime. When it is exporting, you'll notice that your computer will be running slow because it's using up some RAM for the export, um, but it does allow you to work at the same time. So basically just click play and you are good to go. So in a nutshell, that's my export settings for YouTube. Very, very simple. Don't have to play around with any tweaking kind of things. There is ways to increase the quality, um, but I didn't, uh, haven't really needed to do that. So that's basically it in a nutshell. So I hope you found that really quick and easy to follow. And if you want to find out more videos about Premiere Pro or gear or anything like that, just let me know uh, and I'll be happy to help you out. So have a great day.